A grant of $35,000 was presented by T-Mobile, giving the town of Shoto something they have spent quite a bit of time acquiring. We're so thrilled to have a new dog park and it will be opening up in May. Uh, this is part of our whole portfolio of parks in downtown Shoto and it really adds so much because people come here and they need a place to run their dogs. We have a lot of rodeos and weddings and events and so now we have a place where dogs can go and where the owners can build community and get to know one another. Polly Cunningham introduced the idea to the city council. Uh, my husband and I travel and we travel with our dogs and as we travel throughout the West, especially in Utah and Arizona, every town we stopped in had a dog park and it was such a pleasant way to interact and meet people and the dogs were a thrill. And I got thinking, why doesn't Shoto have a dog park? So I came home, tragically COVID was just starting so it had to kind of wait for a while. But so I came home and decided that by gum we should have a dog park. and. We had an organizational meeting and people arrived and they all thought, yeah, let's have a dog park. While the mayor of Shoto was all in for the idea, the project itself consisted of a few obstacles. The mayor, it's, it's a huge step in bringing people to our community. When Polly and her crew showed up at our city council meeting and said, we want to have a dog park, we were at the city said, we've got the land, but we don't have the resources to do it. And if you guys can put this together, we'll make sure you have adequate land access and we will help out any way we can. And that put Polly and her crew into motion and amazing things started to happen. The Shoto Community Dog Park is continuing to raise funds and they have set their goal well past 35 grand. The water park is also expected to bring in tourists and residents from surrounding areas. The mayor credits the people of Shoto's persistence and dedication to bringing something new to the town. Truth be known, this is a true, true testament to the city of Shoto and coming together for something that they support. If this community has any type of momentum behind a, a project, it's going to get done because regardless of political factions or other things, these people come together like no other when it's time to serve this community. In Shoto, Cade Mentor, MTN News.